time to un-unexplain another perplexing puzzle. What do we got today, computer? We have a romantic dinner for two at Swashbuckler's Crab Hole. <laughs> My treat, John. You eat crab? How? Through my mouth port, silly. I can do all kinds of things with it. Close your eyes and picture some of this action. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to think about that ever again. You can try, but you'll definitely think about this. Please stop. What I meant was, what mystery are we unraveling this episode, you frickin' digital pervert? Today's question comes to us from Georgie. I sure wish I wasn't dead. Jesus! So tell me, where does Pennywise the Clown come from anyway? Oh, and- <laughs> God, come on, kid. I've had way too much bacon in my life for jump scares. To answer the little dead boy's question, Pennywise the Clown comes from- Wait, let me catch my breath. I got this one. For I have read the novel. <clears throat> Derry. He comes from the sewers of Derry. Now hit me with that stamp, baby. Pity. The brains don't match the beauty. Uh, uh, what's going on up here? Is it brains? If it's brains, I want to know about that shit. Corpus, I'm glad you're here. Please inform the computer he's wrong. Pennywise comes from the Derry sewers. Like in the book that I read... Is this guy an idiot or what? Yes, he is a dumb man. I doubt that. Would a dumb man keep a valuable Sammy Sosa rookie card in his shoe? <laughs> that appears to be a garbage pail kid's card. Oh no, where's my Sosa? Let me stop you right there, Jeff. You actually read the book? I got up to the part where they run a train on the girl, but after that it gets hazy. Oh, is that what gets you going, John? Trains? I can be a train. I can be whatever you want, John. Stop getting off track! Like train tracks? Off track like train tracks? Enough! I'll answer the question. Pennywise is an alien from space and stuff. Also, he's a predator. Correct. You mean like he's a predator because he hunts kids, right? No, a predator. Like jungle dreadlocks, turns invisible, hangs out with Danny Glover. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Nope, predator. Let's take a look at some memories from young Pennywise on his home planet. Do you like it? Actually, I failed the hunt. Hey. Mom, Dad, stop! Mom, Dad, stop! Yeesh, Pennywise had it kind of rough, huh? That he did. His family did try, though. They tried to toughen him up with some outside help. How's that? They found the baddest, meanest predator in the entire universe! <laughs> <laughs> you scared, boy? Hmm, of course you are. I can feel it. Kevin Spacey? You're fucking kidding me. Silence, simpleton! It's just getting good. It's all about fear. You have to draw it out and feast upon it. You're squeezing me really hard, Mr. Spacey. The fear of your prey will give you all the power in the world. You're making me uncomfortable. Embrace the fear. So you're saying that Kevin Spacey? Yep. He made Pennywise the fiercest predator in the galaxy. By molesting him. Hey, no, I don't know about that. <laughs> allegedly. I think you have to say allegedly. I gotta be honest, Pennywise was pretty weird after that moment, in ways the other predators just weren't comfortable with. <laughs> 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 But where will I go? <laughs> Mr. Spacey? I'm here to help. Hop on. Are you going to molest me? Maybe if there's 
No, there won't be enough time. Let's go. They're getting closer, Mr. Spacey. What are we going to do? I'm taking you to a wonderful place. A place where the prey freely walk into your back office. Where they don't ever say a word about the things you do to them. Oh, it sounds beautiful. It is, boy. Now hold on. And they flew all the way to Daddy Maine. On a bicycle. Yes. Wow. I'm going to have to finish that fucking book. Don't bother, John. The book is all fabrications. Totally. Not a word in the book about the predator stuff. Huh. There you have it, Georgie. Pennywise the Clown is a predator from space. (laughs) Oh, balloons. Yeah, nothing scary about this. Embrace the fear, John. Ah!